Picture this. It was a quiet evening, the room bathed in the soft glow of the television screen, as you stumbled upon a timeless classic. The 1963 movie charade. The opening credits rolled, and within moments, you were transported into a world of suspense, romance, and intrigue. Audrey Hepburn's elegance and Cary Grant's charm captivated you, setting the stage for a cinematic experience like no other. Perhaps it was that unforgettable rooftop scene where Audrey Hepburn and Cary Grant shared a stolen kiss against the backdrop of the Parisian skyline. Or maybe it was the plot's twists and turns that kept you on the edge of your seat, guessing until the very end. Charade had a way of etching itself into your memory, leaving you with those indelible moments that have stayed with you to this day. Now, as we delve into the world of Charade, let's uncover some fascinating and random facts about the movie that you may not have known. From the behind-the-scenes anecdotes to the trivia that adds depth to this cinematic gem, get ready to rediscover the magic of Charade in a whole new light. So, without further ado, let's embark on this journey of discovery as we unveil the intriguing tidbits that make Charade an enduring masterpiece. Charade, released in 1963 and directed by Stanley Donen, is a classic romantic comedy thriller that seamlessly blends elements of suspense, humor, and romance. Starring Audrey Hepburn and Cary Grant in iconic roles, the film was a masterpiece of its time and remains a timeless classic in the world of cinema. The story follows Regina Lampert, a widow who becomes entangled in a web of intrigue and danger after her husband's mysterious death. She discovers that her late husband was involved involved in a criminal conspiracy, and she's pursued by a trio of menacing figures who believe she possesses something valuable. Enter Peter Joshua, a charming stranger who offers his assistance while harboring secrets of his own. Charade stands out for its witty and sharp dialogue, fueled by the undeniable chemistry between Hepburn and Grant. Their banter and on-screen charisma elevate the film to a level of sophistication rarely seen in the genre. The plot twists and turns keep the audience guessing until the very end, and Henry Mancini's memorable score adds to the film's allure. The movie's unique blend of genres, combining suspenseful elements with romantic comedy, set it apart from the typical Hollywood fare of its era. It created a template that would influence countless films to come, with its stylish and suspenseful storytelling inspiring future directors and screenwriters. Charade not only left an indelible mark on popular culture, but also solidified Audrey Hepburn and Cary Grant as two of Hollywood's most beloved and enduring stars. Their performances, the film's memorable lines, and its overall elegance continue to captivate audiences and make Charade a must-watch classic, proving that a blend of romance, comedy, and mystery can stand the test of time in the world of cinema. In the 1963 movie Charade, there's an interesting connection to the Best Supporting Actor Oscar. Three actors from the film later won this prestigious award for their roles in other movies. Walter Matthau won for The Fortune Cookie in 1966, George Kennedy received it for Cool Hand Luke in 1967, and James Coburn was honored for Affliction in 1998. During a dance game scene at a nightclub in the movie, you can catch a brief glimpse of Audrey Hepburn's husband, Mel Furr, in the background, smoking a cigarette. Notably, Cary Grant initially declined a role in Charade. This led to brief consideration of younger stars Warren Beatty and Natalie Wood as potential replacements. Charade is full of these interesting connections and behind-the-scenes stories that add depth to this classic film. It's a testament to the talent of the cast and crew involved in its making. In 1963, the movie Charade came to life on the silver screen, captivating audiences with its suspenseful plot and star-studded cast. While many may think it's a Hitchcock film, it's not. Here's the story. Seven Studios' rejection turned success. The original screenplay for Charade faced rejection by seven different studios. But screenwriter Peter Stone didn't give up. He turned the script into a novel, which was serialized in Red Book magazine. This move piqued the interest of those very studios that had initially passed on the project. An Oscar-worthy cast, Charade featured a relatively small cast, but it boasted some serious talent. Four Oscar winners graced the screen, with Cary Grant leading the pack. Grant, a two-time Oscar nominee, played a pivotal role in the film, adding to its star power. 
The Hitchcock confusion charade is often mistaken for an Alfred Hitchcock film due to its suspenseful nature, Cary Grant's presence, the clever screenplay structure, and frequent plot twists. However, Hitchcock had no involvement in the making of this movie. This confusion has led fans to affectionately dub it the best Hitchcock film Hitchcock never made. In 1963, Charade defied initial rejection, assembled an all-star cast, and left audiences guessing, making it a classic in its own right. It's a prime example of how persistence, talent, and intrigue can create cinematic magic. In the 1963 movie Charade, a peculiar behind-the-scenes detail involves Audrey Hepburn, and Cary Grant. In one scene, Audrey Hepburn, while smoking a cigarette alone in her vacant apartment, is joined by Cary Grant. The tricky part was that the backlighting made the backs of Grant's ears appear red on camera. To tackle this issue, masking tape was discreetly used to cover the backs of his ears, ensuring a flawless shot. After completing Charade, Cary Grant expressed a strong desire to work with Audrey Hepburn again. He famously said, All I want for Christmas is to make another movie with Audrey Hepburn. Although this wish never materialized, Grant was offered the role of Higgins in My Fair Lady, and specifically requested Audrey Hepburn as his co-star in Father Goose. These intriguing tidbits add a layer of charm and nostalgia to the beloved classic charade, reminding us of the on-screen chemistry between Hepburn and Grant. Despite their smoking habits at the time, both actors left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. It's fascinating to peek behind the scenes and discover these anecdotes from the making of a timeless film like Charade. Their professionalism and dedication to their craft shine through, making this movie all the more memorable. And that's a glimpse into the world of Charade, where the magic happened both in front of and behind the camera, leaving us with a cinematic treasure that endures to this day. In the 1963 movie Charade, there are interesting details related to its music and historical context. One notable aspect is the background music in the dining boat scene. It features a vocal version of the film's theme song, Charade, with only three stanzas. The second stanza of this version differs from the published lyrics and goes as follows, and in a blaze of light, for you Romeo came, and it was closing night, the ending of the play. Additionally, during Charles Lampert's funeral scene near the beginning of the film, the soundtrack includes an early version of Henry Mancini's theme for Two for the Road. This connection highlights the collaboration between director Stanley Donen, actress Audrey Hepburn, and composer Henry Mancini on multiple projects. Furthermore, a subtle historical detail in the film indicates that it was made during President Kennedy's tenure. In the final scene set in the embassy, one can spot President Kennedy's portrait on the wall of the secretary's office, reflecting the film's production during that era. These details add depth to the viewing experience of Charade and provide insights into the film's musical choices and its connection to the political context of the early 1960s. In 2022, the film Charade from 1963 earned a spot in the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress. This recognition came because the movie was considered culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant. The story revolves around a woman played by Audrey Hepburn who finds herself entangled in a web of mystery and intrigue after her husband's death. The film's blend of suspense and comedy has made it a classic, and its preservation underscores its lasting impact on American cinema. One interesting tidbit about Charade is that the voice of the U.S. Marine in front of the embassy was dubbed by screenwriter Peter Stone. This behind-the-scenes detail adds to the film's charm, showcasing the creative efforts that went into making it. Additionally, Charade received recognition from the American Film Institute, earning a spot on their 2000 list of the 500 movies nominated for the top 100 funniest American movies. This acknowledgement highlights the film's enduring appeal as a comedy thriller. In conclusion, Charade is a timeless movie that has received recognition for its cultural significance, featured unique behind-the-scenes details, and found a place among the funniest American films. Its enduring popularity continues to captivate audiences today. 
In the 1963 movie Charade, Audrey Hepburn's character, Regina, made a fashion statement despite having just two Louis Vuitton suitcases. She sported five coats, four dresses, and three hats, all designed by Givenchy. This wardrobe added style to her character and became a notable aspect of the film's visual appeal. Charade was filmed virtually back-to-back -back with Paris when it sizzles in 1964, which also starred Audrey Hepburn. The close timing of these two films showcases Hepburn's busy schedule during the period, and her enduring popularity as a leading actress in Hollywood. Before taking on his role in Charade, Cary Grant had been offered Gary Cooper's part in the romantic comedy Love in the Afternoon, where he would have co-starred with Hepburn. Grant declined the offer due to the significant age difference between him and Hepburn. This decision led to Humphrey Bogart eventually playing the role. Cary Grant had previously appeared alongside Hepburn and Sabrina, demonstrating their on-screen chemistry, which would be revisited in Charade. These behind-the-scenes insights offer a glimpse into the making of Charade and the Hollywood dynamics of that era, where fashion, scheduling, and casting decisions played crucial roles in shaping the final product. As we draw the curtain on this cinematic journey through the enigmatic world of charade, I invite you to take a moment and reflect on your personal connection with this 1963 masterpiece. Audrey Hepburn's grace, Cary Grant's charm, and the thrilling blend of romance, comedy, and suspense have left an indelible mark on the hearts of movie enthusiasts for decades. Perhaps you recall the first time you watched Regina Lampert's whirlwind adventure, the suspenseful intrigue that kept you on the edge of your seat, or the timeless allure of Paris as a backdrop to this captivating tale. Did you find yourself trying to solve the mystery alongside the characters, or did you simply revel in the impeccable chemistry between Hepburn and Grant? Charade isn't just a movie, it's a memory, a feeling, an experience that has touched the lives of countless individuals. Now, it's your turn to share your thoughts and cherished memories. What resonated with you most? Who introduced you to this cinematic gem, and how did it impact you? By sharing your insights and reflections, you become a part of the larger narrative that celebrates the enduring magic of charade. Your unique perspective adds depth to the collective appreciation of this cinematic masterpiece. Thank you for joining us on this cinematic journey and for sharing your thoughts and memories. Your engagement enriches the tapestry of our film-loving community. Until our next cinematic adventure, keep the classics alive in your heart and on your screen with gratitude for your time and interest.